In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a flower from a simple shape. I learned this just recently from a YouTube tutorial myself, so I'm going to break it down to you, show you how to make a fully editable flower that looks really cool. So let's just do a uh, practice document here. I'm going to hit Create New, and I'm just going to do a 1,000 pixel by 1000 pixel document. It doesn't really matter, just need a artboard to draw on, but a nice square one will, be work, will work for this exercise. I'm gonna click Create. I'm gonna hit Command-0 to center my artboard in the screen. Now, this is really cool. I used to do this a more complex way that required a lot more steps and wasn't editable, so this is a really cool technique I learned. We're gonna take the Polygon tool and if you don't remember, it's hidden underneath the rectangle tool, so I'm holding down on that. And I'm going to choose Polygon Tool. I'm going to click anywhere on my artboard. And we can start with any number of sides. We could start with five. Maybe I'll make this a lot bigger. Let's try 250 pixels and five sides. All right, something like that. We can put it in the center. We can come over to Align, and if you don't see these options down here, remember, Show Options up here. And we can align to Artboard, all right? And we want to Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Align Center. Next, I'm going to close that because we don't need it. I'm going to get rid of the stroke, so red line for the stroke. And we're going to pick a base color for, for our flower. I'm going to stretch that a little bit so I get more colors to choose from. And let's make, you can pick any colors you want. I'm going to start maybe over here. I don't know, purple flower. Let's see. We'll start with that. Any color you want for your flower. Next thing we're going to do is come up to our effect panel or window. Choose Distort and Transform, and Pucker and Bloat. So Effect, Distort and Transform, Pucker and Bloat. Turn our preview on, and I find, let's move that out of the way just so we can see what's going on. I find that this works best if your bloat is between 50 and 100%. So if I start at 50, somewhere around there, right at short, fat wide kind of petals like a four leaf clover kind of thing although it's five leaves right now if I come over to about a hundred you can see they get longer and skinnier if I go beyond a hundred it starts to get a weird distortion that we don't want alright so somewhere between 50 and 100 if we go below 50 right it starts to look kind of weird so I find somewhere between 50 and 100 and I'll go with 100 for this one and we'll click OK Now, like I said, cool thing about this, this is fully editable. So if we come to our transform palette, we have some options over here, right? So we have polygon properties, including number of sides. What happens if we bump that up? Flower with more petals, right? Bump that down, flower with less petals. Get down to three, looks weird. Four, not too bad, All right? So maybe I'll go with six. There we go. Next, we're going to take our selection tool. We're going to click on our shape, and we can close the transform for now. Command C to copy, and Command F to paste in front. If I look at my layers over here and I open it up, you can see I have two copies. All right. So the co top copy selected, I'm going to change the color. I'm going to maybe make it yellow. And I'm going to right click on it. Pick any color you want, right? I picked yellow. Once you have a color, right click on your top shape, transform, and scale. Transform, scale. Let's make it about... 30%, hit tab to test it with your preview turned on, and you can see that a lot smaller, 
scales to the middle. That's what we want. I'm going to make one more copy. Command C, Command F to paste in front. Let's make this one maybe a light purple like that. I'm going to right click, transform, and scale. And this one we don't want to be quite as small, so I'm going to change it to 60%. Now these aren't that 30 and 60%. Those aren't like the only numbers you can use. These are just ones that I'm using right now for this particular style of flower. This is all about experimenting. Non-editable, I mean fully editable, right? Non-destructive. You can change these numbers to kind of get what you like. So we're going to go with 60% and I'm going to click OK. Next up, we want to do something called a shape blend, all right? So we're going to select all of these, click and drag over to highlight them all, make sure they're all selected. We're going to come to Object, Blend, and Make. So Object, Blend, and Make. What that's going to do is blend all your shapes together to kind of make like a gradient but right now still not quite a flower all right I'm going to show you how to make this even cooler we're going to come to our tools panel over here on the left and we have a tool right below the eyedropper called the blend tool or you can access it with the shortcut key of W W for the blend tool and then I want you to double click on the blend tool so you get the blend options we're going to turn preview on and instead of smooth color we want to increase the number of steps to make this a very smooth subtle transition so we're going to go from smooth color to specified steps with preview on we can hit the up arrow right and you can start to see kind of have this hippie look kind of this psychedelic kind of thing I want to get it until the little bands disappear, right? So it doesn't look like individual shapes. So I'm just gonna keep hitting that up arrow somewhere around maybe 20, right? You can go even more, 25, it's kind of up to you. Again, it's all an experiment kind of thing. And I'm gonna click OK. Take my selection tool, we're getting pretty close, all right? I'm going to open up my layers, open up my blend, and I'm going to select the bottom blend. That's our original shape, our original polygon. And I'm going to copy it. And I just selected it by clicking on the circle right here. You can see the little icon saying it's selected. Command C to copy. Command B to paste behind. Now you can see there are two copies. And the one that's on the bottom or behind is now selected. I'm going to take that one. And I want to make that one bigger. So I'm going to come up to Transform. And we have this option right here, Polygon Radius. Polygon Radius. I'm going to bump that up. Let's try 300 and hit Tab. What that does, it's going to make a bigger shape underneath. And I want to start to see these petals kind of overlap. So I'm going to try maybe 350 something like that just so the center kind of overlaps if I turn this off right you can kind of start to see a subtle kind of difference we might not we might even need to do more something like that if we start to get too big right I can command minus <clears throat> to zoom out a bit I can select everything and then holding shift and option I can kind of shrink down from the center. So now we've got a flower that is still fully editable. Let's say we're not quite happy. We can select each shape and each shape right here. Now we can adjust our polygons. We make it 10. Make this one 10. It's going through making them all kind of the same. All right, now we have a different flower. 
So I think that's just kind of cool. You can even come in and come under your appearance. You can adjust the pucker and bloat. All kinds of cool stuff. <clears throat> what I would do at the very end is select it all because it still thinks it's a polygon. Once you got it, how you like it, object, expand appearance. And that's going to conform the bounding box around your new flower shape. And voila, you got a flower. Now at this point, it's no longer editable. That last step, object, expand appearance, just kind of sets it as your flower. So if you're still not sure and you want to make adjustments, don't do that step. Or before you do it, let me undo, right? You still have this. Another thing you can do, if you're working smart, hold option and drag a copy over. And I'm gonna make sure it's out of the way with the shift key there. So I got a good one off on the artboard. One I can still experiment with. I could select this one and object expand appearance. We got a flower. If you want to use the flower over and over again, don't forget you can come into symbols and you can make that a symbol that you can reuse. Cool tip. Hope you like it. Make some cool flowers for your illustration project.